Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more Europa Universalis 4 as the Khanate of Mongolia going for the Great Khan achievement. <clears throat> and I actually forgot to check whether or not um, we can form Yuan and then go on to get the achievement. I will have to look into that. If you guys know, please leave me let me know in the comments down below. Before we get started, I want to remind you to check out the Discord. A bunch of fellow nerds over there having good talks and uh, good conversations. And uh, if you're enjoying the series, please show your support and uh, leave a like. It's the easiest way for you to do it, and it really helps me out more than you know. So let's get back to our war with Ming Ming. He's uh, currently getting beat up on, and he doesn't stand a chance. He has literally, like, <clears throat> okay, Pegu is the one who's got the army. Ming has literally no army. All right. It's a show superiority war, so I'd like to get a couple of battles in here. A couple of stack wipes. Some good looting. <laughs> Come on now. The riches of China. So I get a claim or a claim on what's this? Hunan. Oh, I'll take that. That's actually kind of good for me. More claims. Didn't it just say I got a claim in this area? Yeah, I do. I have a claims. We're good. Cool. It's actually a big area. It's a lot of dev. What is that? How many dev is in this state? A lot? Like 35? Something like that? I don't know. I'm not counting. Anyways, we're doing good. We got a wall breach down here. <clears throat> Might actually have to run down and peace out Pegu, but that shouldn't be an issue. Unless he wants to attack me down here, that would be fine. Or if he wants to go park his army on a mountain fort, that would also be fine. So before he gets up there, let's turn this edict on and go to defensiveness and make sure we don't have edicts on other places. This one is fine. Ah, it's going to be two more clicks. That's okay. We'll get it sorted. So, let's see here. He is heading up there. We won the Siege of Yansu, so let's just carpet siege him down. With this army. And remember, it's 50% AE and 50%... I don't want to actually catch him here, so I need to be careful. It's 50% AE and cost for provinces, so that's really good. Um, oh, this isn't a fort. Oh, right, I'm being an idiot. Okay, so let's just come on down to Pegu's capital, which is... Pegu. <laughs> if you can believe it. Gonna keep on sieging this down. He's not gonna get anything because he's gotta run past this fort and uh, he's not gonna get that, so. I do think I have a lap. No, I don't have a gap in coverage. Just up here I do, because of this fort getting given to him. I do need to build some more forts over here um, and that will probably be level four. Ideally I can like bait Russia to come up here and just suffer crazy amounts of attrition because we're going to war with Russia sooner rather than later, honestly. I it may be the next war. I don't want to do it at the same time as Ming. So speaking of that, we are taking all of this and then all of this and all of this and might as well make pretty borders here. That is a lot. Oh my God. Look at that overextension. Okay. Hold on. So we're going to take all that and then all of this and then Enough to get me a hundred AE or Okay, that's the that's the peace deal for Ming. It's actually only 44, which is crazy. Um I need to come up here and get a get this fort. As soon as we peace out Pegu, we'll be able to do whatever we want. This is stupid, I literally don't have. I will state this up though, and I will give this defensiveness. guys up here all right he'll want it soon one out soon <laughs> all right so we're gonna lose some horde unity and tribes lose some loyalty that's Fine, I suppose. It doesn't matter a whole lot. <clears throat> Costs us a little bit more money, but it's not a big deal. Nothing I'm too concerned about. We just need to siege stuff down. So we're just waiting. Waiting on sieges. Right, have a drink of my water here. Mm. 
Mmm, delicious water. All right. Ideally, we win this siege or the, end this siege before he wins this one, but it doesn't look like it. He's got some... Okay, he's actually got... Shun has uh, defensive ideas. Pretty good. What about you? I didn't actually look at this. Economic, defensive, and ad admin. So I think we can actually peace out right now. And if I want to, I can just spend the mill, but I feel like it's not worth it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna spend any more any admin. Um, so I think I can actually peace out right now. I just can't get anything from Pegu. Let's see what I can get from him. Um, I think I'm just gonna just drag it out a little bit more. He might win this siege, but it doesn't matter because after he loses his capital, he's gonna want to peace out regardless. Great Horde Separatists, huh? Ah, that's kind of annoying. I actually have these forts down here, which are going to be helpful against Timmy later on. Let's uh, spread you guys out down here. Get a little extra war score. 14% chance we win. No. 35 he does. Base race. He wins the base race, though he was on there longer than me, so that's okay. Um, he can't get anywhere because we actually do have forts up here now, so we're good. Lost that one, which is kind of annoying. Put you guys up here, take that idea. And we're pretty close to getting out of this one, and we're going to go fight the Ruskies. We're going to have to send some men over there to take care of these guys, but... <clears throat> Getting a little bit of prestige, I'll take. And he's got all those men rotting away on that fort, which is really nice. We keep on losing this fort, which is quite annoying. There we go. So now Pegu's gonna want out. He won't give me everything he has, but I will at least take what he's willing to give me. There we go. And now I will take 100% peace deal from you, Ming Ming. I don't need to humiliate him, actually. Let's just take all his money. There we go. I'm not going to be able to uh, core all this stuff, but I will certainly do do what I can. Right, because whenever you're coring through a vassal's land, it messes with this stuff a bit. But it's okay, as long as the unrest isn't too crazy. Um, these ones I can both core. Alright, so I should be able to... There we go. And let's go with institution spread. So you guys are getting it three per month. So <clears throat> I actually think that we'll be able to embrace it as soon as we get it in these two. We certainly should. So we're going to hold on to all of our money. We are going to core whatever we can. Okay. Oh, I forgot to raise all this stuff. Right. So let's actually do that. We're not going to core any of this yet because we're going to core what we have to first. We're going to order it by amount of overextension. And uh, wasn't there one over here? Oh, it was already a core, I think. Oh, I gave this to him. What in the world? I didn't mean to do that. Whatever, it's fine. So there we go. Got all that. And let's actually unstate this. Check our stuff, and we're good. Cool. All right, so let us... We do want to build a couple of forts over here. Um, let's see where a good one is. So there's literally... So this is woods. So woods is defensive, and this would actually block this up here. So I'm actually going to build that there. These ones would connect here. These ones would connect here. So this would actually stop him from getting anywhere. So I actually am going to do that. Um, and we are going to turn down maintenance and we are going to turn... We're going to keep the forts on. What does army tradition? It does give morale, manpower recovery, siege ability. So we're going to keep that actually. But we're going to get these guys joined up over here. These guys are going to come over here. And... Ideally, we're going to go to war before the forts are finished, but <clears throat> I don't know. It's one of those things. He, he's going to have a huge 
all infantry army landed. No cavalry. It's literally all <laughs> infantry. Okay. Um, well, if that's the case, then we have the force limit to uh, to do some of this. So what do we need here? So their loyalty needs to be 50. We can't do this. We can do this next year. So that's fine. We'll do that. Um, we will probably get some more men in the army. So let's do a little bit of this. Eight. 9, 10, and then 5, so that'd be 15 total extra into the army. And then we'll probably go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So a total of 20 more. <clears throat> That'll be good. Our, uh, look at that. <laughs> Treasury, plus 1,254. Yeah, that's more realistic. So let's speed 5 it for a second. And let's get you guys all joined up down here. Get these guys all joined up. Very good. It's mostly infantry, but we're going to spread them out between evenly between these two stacks. Uh, might even make a third stack. Infantry unrests? Probably not necessary. Until the death of who? This guy, the 61-year-old? Yeah, it's not worth it. Ooh, free siege ability. I'll take it. So you guys are going to come here, you guys are coming over here, so let's get you guys down there. Oh, didn't mean to do that one. Alright. So let's see here, when is our truce with Timmy up? 85, so we got 6 years, so I'm literally not in any rush at all. I could start working away at these guys, but I'm actually not sure how... All these cores are set up over here. So he's at war with him again for mandate, I assume. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't get all the overextension I thought I was going to get, though. I thought I was taking 100% overextension, but I'm not sure exactly how that's working out. So we're going to split these guys up just so we're not taking a bunch of attrition. There we go. We'll, we'll group them up when we actually go to war. At this point, I'm inclined to just kind of wait the extra year so we have our level 4 forts. Keep an eye on you. So... <clears throat> Who are you at war with, then? So he's at war with Mazovia. Oh, hey, look at that! That's pretty cool. That looks like a Mazovian Poland. That's cool. So let's see here. Yeah. He's, uh, he's pretty strong, actually. That's funny. Alright, so how does our mill tech look compared to Russia? 13, 14, and we have mill ideas. He's only got 12 ideas total. He's working on offensive, so he has no d defensive. This is really good, actually. This looks like a pretty weak Ruskies that we can fight against, so... He's got men over there, so I'm actually going to unmothball my army. And we're just- mostly we're gonna take everything down here. Um... <coughs> First and foremost, I need to... Oh, hey. Probably don't want those guys to uh, break away, so let's do that. Um, so I'm thinking... The, let's actually just carp siege you guys in the beginning. Um, I want to get all this, and I'll take whatever I can. You know, I'll like snake my way up and see if I can grab some forts or something. Where are they at? Here, here, here. Nah, maybe not. He has a fort right there. Interesting. Really? What about these guys? It's a gold fort on the gold mine. Speaking of that, I have a gold mine. I never dev'd it up either. <clears throat> Look at this, and we're still... We're As soon as we buy tech, we're gonna be able to tech up. And meanwhile, these guys over here are not even... Um, they're starting to get colonialism now because my guys are spreading them. You don't even have Renaissance yet. You have printing press. I'm working on it. I'll have it, you know, within the next year or two. What about you? Ruskies have it. No, they don't. Just colonialism. Cool. 
All right. So where are these forts at? I'll give them a couple more months. There we go. Let's let's do this. Let's declare this war. We'll go with uh, tribal superiority. And we're just gonna carpet siege them down right now initially. Oh wait, I screwed that up. There you go. He's probably got an army around somewhere, so I do need to be careful. But Russians are very good at just like, you know, bum rushing all their men into giant battles and just piling on. They're very good at the pylons. So let's get a siege guy over here. Let's get you guys over here. Ideally, we can win some battles, but it'll be tough to say. That's so funny. I actually love the fact that Mazovia ate Poland as a vassal or previous vassal, you know? Okay, so these forts are done. He is actually going to be able to just march right past them until I take this land. Hmm. Get you guys up here. Okay, let's get you guys up there. Where are you going, brother? With that little two stack. So he's he's got a massive army. <clears throat> I have way more infantry. So we're, I'm like 50-50 right now, actually. I could definitely afford to get more cav into the army. Oh, right, I forgot. I forgot to do this. Yeah, it's very good. Okay, well, I'll bring those guys over eventually. It's not a big deal. <clears throat> I meant to, and I forgot to. And, um... Both these provinces have it. We can embrace it for 1300 and I will. Assuming I can get tech. Nope. I'm going to let the points stack up. What do I get from it? Stab cost modifier plus five. Wow. That's OP. All right. So you're going over here and I can catch you guys out. I do not need to rent your Kandatiari. I will take these guys over here and put them on that fort though. Might even actually break it, this siege. Nope. Bummer. Alright, so let's get you guys up here. Come on now. 60 some percent chance and I lose it. That's so annoying. Annoying. <clears throat> there we go. Get you guys split up over here. Get you guys split up over here. Get you guys split up over here. And the carpet siege continues. We're just going fort to fort. Okay, so we got our our 206 15 year old con. Um, very good. Malevolent, liberty, desire, and subjects. That's it's not very cool, but it's fine. We're gonna actually have this one guy annexed here within the next couple of years, so we're good. Uh, what is this? Oh, right, yeah. And this one will be able to core after that, so we're good. And we'll take the force limit modifier. Next is discipline and morale speed. And what policies can we get? I actually did not look at that. Trade efficiency and movement speed. So the movement speed's a good one. Years of Nash years of unrest and separatism is also a good one. Um, I'll wait until I finish my idea set before I do that. So that's a 24 stack right there. I would rather not have them engaged. Though over here I can do this. Especially if I can get Kublai over here. Ooh! Hey! We got a, a god emperor. Very nice. If we could fight him over here in the steps. Oh, no, no, no. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. Oh my gosh, that's a big stack. That's fine. Well, they, I don't have to worry about those guys. They're not going to be able to link up. He's going to be locked in. Damn. So they are joining up together. 
he's taking a ton of attrition, like you do, as Russia. It's going to be a lot of men he's about to lose in this monthly tick. Look at this. Oh, it doesn't didn't calculate. That's lame. Certainly should calculate. Almost going to win both of that. Okay, so we won that siege. So now he can't get into my interior, which is good. I'll march you guys over yonder. <clears throat> Ideally, we would win this one, but... I do need to be careful, because he could certainly dogpile on me over here. That's a 70 stack. That is so nasty. So many men dying, just to attrition. I wish I kept track, man. It does not keep track. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's get you guys over here and get you guys over here. Uh, you guys are locked in over here, and so I can stack wipe you. With, uh... Elbig Onigriot? I don't know. Should be a stack wipe though. Yeah. 40 24k. Just dead. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Feels so good. Okay, let's get you guys down here. Let's get you guys down here. Because we have the movement speed, so it's like, dude, Russia shouldn't they should not have a chance. Um So 25th and the 23rd, so I'm actually gonna have to wait till he's locked in. I'm gonna, I'm going for it. We will not get a re reinforcement tick, but that's okay. Um, let's see here. Is he? I can't change him anyways. He's got a maneuver though. It's probably not gonna be a, a stack wipe, but they lost a lot of men, so might as well have been. Get you guys spread out over here. Okay, get you guys spread out over here. <clears throat> so he's lost how many men? 50k, just from battles. That doesn't even count how many men he's lost from attrition. Somehow he gained manpower, probably from that stack wipe. I think that's actually a thing. When you get stack wiped, you actually gain the manpower back, which is really weird. And we're just gonna continue to Carpa Siege up here. I'm gonna annex Shun here very soon. Or not, is it Shun? 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. And uh, we got the Seed of Strong Aristocrats. Okay, a 412 Sane, Dayanne, and our marriage with our Borte. Very cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, so that's a big stack run, roaming around up there. 45 stack. Jeez, OP. Alright. So let's uh let's not play any games here. Let's get you guys joined up. And get you guys joined up. He's just roaming around. He said Leroy Jenkins. Cavalry infantry combat ability is nice. I will not poo-poo it. What is this? Pretender Rebels. So ideally, I can just like, you know, destroy him so he's not, um, does not stand a chance against any invaders. Let's also get our siege guy up here. Oh, that's annoying. Come on, man. Let us see if we can flee, maybe. 26th of February. Yeah, okay, we're good. All oh, right, this one. Our cannon. Not the cannon. All right, uh, you will be there. When will you be here? 9th of March. Oh, really? So he's like, okay, so he's actually locked in for kind of no reason. Yeah, he's about to go into the stack wipe himself. Scorched Earth is good. Strong. There you go. And now he stack wipes himself. Oh, no stack wipe? What in the world? That doesn't sound right. Alright. Anyways, let's get up here. See if we can stack wipe some more of these guys. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of men. How is it not telling me how many men they've lost to attrition? Don't make no sense.
Integration is a slow process. So now we are, uh, we have more land in China. And now he's upset with me. Why? Because I'm malevolent. He's got a lot of dev. And uh, my Diplo rep is low. So that's definitely why. <clears throat> that's fine. I mean, I can throw you a couple of dev clicks if that's, if that would make you happy, right? So let's see here. There you go. Now behave. Mm-hmm. I think we can switch you over to mill. How about this? So we do have too many territories, so we are losing money from that corruption. Um, should not be an issue. Yeah, we're not actually spending that much money rooting it out. Um, we'll get that sorted out after. I have the points certainly to do it. Okay, you guys are marching down here to Perm. How's their manpower looking? Slowly but surely dropping. Apparently I have a little stack over here <laughs> from Shun. So there's mountains over here. I think I'm just going to... No, you know what? I do need to wait until I can... So this is woods. So here's what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to run away with a stack here. And they're going to try to attack him. And since it's scorched earth, I will be able to uh, defend. And it also reduces my amount of um, damage that I'm taking from this. So I'm going to wait until he's locked in. We'll put a leader there, just in case. Um, 31st of July. So he's going to lock in... Wait until he's locked in. So there he is. He's locked in. We're going to... Uh, take you up here. And we will get there on the 22nd. So we're actually going to get there before him, but he's already locked in. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this. So he's taking a river crossing into the, for into the woods. And that's it. That's that's how you stack wipe Russians. Oh, I guess we didn't stack wipe them, but still, that's a nice little uh, little trick you can do. All right, so let's get you guys over here to Moscow. I guess we're going down to Ryzon. So let's get a siege guy over there. You will take Kublai. All right, I'm gonna actually finish this war up in the next episode. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, please show your support. Leave a like. Don't forget to check out the Discord. Link is in the description down below. And if you want to see some more of this, you can subscribe. With all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.